Hey, guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here for the Music Factory Studios. All right, let's get back into some Linux fun. How about that? Today, I'm going to walk you through my install of Arco Linux. Now, if you go to Arco Linux's website, it's going to be a little confusing. So what's going to happen is you're going to open up Arco Linux's website, and you're going to see multiple different types of ISOs that you can download. And in those ISOs, you're going to see things like Arco Linux D and Arco Linux B. Honestly, if you want to roll your own and pick what desktop and everything later, get Arco Linux D. And that's what we're going to be using today. So once you boot into the ISO for Arco Linux D, the thing you're going to see is this. First, you want to connect to your Wi-Fi. It's down here in the right corner. Connect to it. And then you want to update the Arch Linux mirrors. So click on this. I've already done that just to save us some time. Okay. And make sure that if you're dual booting, you have already uh, partitioned your disk before you've booted into Arco Linux. Now, you can choose to do a base installation, which will install basically XFCE. Or you can do an advanced installation, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to click on advanced installation. And by the way, I've grabbed a new capture card because I was tired of having kind of awful looking 1080p <laughs> videos from Linux and because I use a 4K monitor. And uh, so I've switched to 4K. Tell me if you think it looks any better. It's a capture card that seems to work really well with Linux. It'll do 4K at 30 frames per second. It'll also do like 1080p at 120 frames per second. So if you guys would like to see a tutorial or a review, I guess you would say, about this capture card, let me know. I've also got the PCI version coming of this same capture card, but this one is USB-C. It will pass through 4K60 HDR. I do have an HDR screen so it will pass through the HDR no problem. So that's cool. Even though there's not really an option for HDR on Linux, you can pass it through with this. So it would kind of future-proof you once HDR becomes a thing on Linux. All right, the first thing you're going to see here is the Calamari's installer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can walk through it. On the left is everything we're going to install here. And... It will take you through screen by screen. So we're going to hit next. And the first thing it asks you is what kernel would you like to install? So I'm just going to go with the regular Linux kernel. Okay. And I need AMD U code because I'm using an AMD CPU and AMD graphics card. Okay. Let's see if it will let me open a terminal anywhere. Accessories, system. Alacrity. Here we go. So you can see what my system is. It looks like NeoFetch is installed. There we go. So this is a AMD Ryzen 3 2200G and a RX 550 with 4 gigs of VRAM. It's got 16 gigs of regular RAM and it's a, a an NVMe SSD. Okay. So as you can see, I'm going to need this AMD U code. Now, if you've got an Intel processor, choose Intel U code. And we'll hit next. Drivers. Do I need any drivers? Well, I need the AMD GPU driver <laughs> for sure. Okay. And I'm going to go next. I think, let's see. Yep, that's all I need. Installs ATI. You could, you could in theory install this if you have an older amd card i'm not sure which one is really supported but it doesn't hurt to have it it really really doesn't hurt it so next i want bluetooth support um and support for sound let's see laptops network discovery yeah we'll leave that in there i don't need printer support now the first thing you want us want to choose here is your login manager and your login manager can be SDDM, which is from KDE Plasma. 
or you can have light dm which is the xfce window manager or login manager gdm i would choose gdm if i'm going to use gnome and lxdm if you're going to install like lxde but i wouldn't use it for anything else okay now here's the one thing with arco linux the last time i tried to install arco linux i wanted to install lxqt and it just would not work for me so i usually go with light dm because that will pretty much work with anything okay and then we'll choose next and it will ask you what desktop you want to install now here's the interesting part you can have more than one here if you want to so here's what i normally end up doing i like the awesome window manager but sometimes i'm just in a real hurry and i need something not awesome i'm sorry open box <laughs> uh, sometimes i'm in a hurry and i need to get things done really fast with a mouse so i'll boot into xfce but you have other options from awesome bspwm which is an awesome window manager i haven't had time to really work with a bunch of these window managers and learn my way around them real proficiently but manjaro had a bspwm iso and that was awesome to use they had a great awesome window manager uh desktop environment setup window manager iso or whatever you want to call it community edition and it was great i like cinnamon cute fish is similar to deepen so if you're into that you could grab cute fish here cwm which is i tried it and i couldn't figure my way out around it so and i couldn't really find any information on it or any videos showing how it works a lot of the problem with a lot of these window managers is not that they aren't good it's just there's not a lot of good information out there for people like me who hate reading manuals or trying to decipher um you know blog posts from from developers it it just I, i'd like to see a video of this is how it works and this is how you know you work your way around and now i know there's distro tube out there derek is awesome but derek sometimes is a little uh how should i say this he's a little advanced for some people me sometimes i'm i would really like to this winter because usually the studio slows down in the winter time uh i would really like to sit down and, and go in depth with a couple of these now what is dusk the dusk desktop huh i don't know that one so we're going to install that one and joe's window manager jwm that's a really good one if you want a real basic uh, desktop environment that feels like a window manager that thing is awesome i didn't think i would like it but i ended up really really liking it but i'm going to install three here open box xfce and this dusk because i don't know anything about it so i think it would be kind of interesting to see i'm going to click next now meta packages these are things like um, wine other utilities and then you have uh, Arco Linux packages, which are uh, Summer Fonts, Team Viewer, Paleo Fetch. I'm not really sure what that is. I'll take the uh, candy icons here. And I don't need Steam, Wine. I don't really need any of that stuff. Next, Communications. Now, if you need everything under one of these headers, just click next to it, and it'll choose all of them. The more you choose, the longer your install will take, okay? So I don't need any of that. And connect remotely, I don't need any of that. I just need a basic Linux install so I can record some security cameras, basically. And I'm going to test out Arco Linux because it seems to be a really good uh, uh, version of Arch to use. Development, I don't need any of those. This is office stuff. As you can see here, it highlights what, um, what overarching um, category you're in. I don't really need any of that stuff. Fonts. I'll take all the fonts just because you might need them. Multimedia. Now, these are some things I will need. Audio software. I like Lollipop. Lollipop is a good music player. And this Tau and Music box is great for listening to music. 
if for some reason I want to play music through it. Video software. Now, I would need, let's see. Um, yeah, I'll just wait. We'll go with celluloid as a, as a playback engine or video playback. Other than that, I don't really need any of those other things. But if you use things like YouTube download, you know, YouTube DL, or you need like a Plex, you're going to make a Plex server here. You could just go ahead and install it during the, the regular install. And that makes it really, really handy. Next, we get our web browsers. I use Vivaldi. <gasps> no, you don't. Not on an open source distribution. You don't use Vivaldi. Yes, I use Vivaldi. You know why? Because they're open about what they do. And Firefox anymore just seems kind of scummy. After they said that, uh, I'm not even going to get into it. Once they became political, I didn't want no part of it. Okay. That's the good thing about Vivaldi. They may lean one way or the other, but at least they're open about what they do. <laughs> you know. They may not be open source, but I mean, it's based on Chrome. So a lot of it is open source. I know there's LibreWolf out there. But I just don't like the interface of Firefox any longer. It's awful looking. And it's it's just... Uh, HDR doesn't work well. It, you, it's hard to watch HDR video. It's just it's not a thing I'm, I really enjoy. All right. So I'm going to get Vivaldi here and make sure we've got all three of these. There's Brave, Chromium, uh, Falcon, Firefox. Uh, a couple extensions for Firefox. Google Chrome, LibreWolf, Midori, whatever Min is, NetSurf, Opera, Cute Browser, Tor Browser Launcher, and Vivaldi. I like Vivaldi. I just do. All right. Next. Oh, if we go back, uh, you're right down here. You can choose your mail client. So if you want Thunderbird or Evolution or MailSpring or whatever, it's there. As well as your cloud software, such as Dropbox. Next. Themes. I'll just take all them themes and all them icons and all them cursors because I may not change desktop environments or distros very often. I mean, on my regular Linux machines or my PCs, I run Solus because I just like it. But I do switch themes a lot. And for graphics, I don't need any of that. Games, I don't need games or game utilities. I don't need any of that stuff terminals now i do like tilex i just like it i like it because of the multi windows in one window kind of thing or the multi terminals in one window i know other terminals do that but i've just become accustomed to using tilex and it's good um and alacrity i don't know why i said alacrity earlier <laughs> i i read the word straight out instead of thinking that one through so yeah it's one of those where you you pronunciate by looking at the word instead of actually reading the word yeah i did that earlier it's it's alacrity or alacrity one or the other and that's or it's alacrity ah see i did it again <laughs> it's alacrity um but any of the terminals you could think of are here i just like tilex it's one of the first things i normally install file manager now i use not nautilus no nemo uh, nemo is my file manager of choice because i'm a mac user at work and at home as well nemo is the closest thing i found to finder and it's just fully featured and easy to find your way around it's easy to make it root and you know put things like themes and and icons and things like that in there it's just a lot simpler to move around in nemo than any of the other file managers i think PC Man FM's pretty good, but it's eh, kind of blah. <laughs> uh, Thunar works okay, but Nemo, Nemo is like a combination of Thunar and PC Man FM, and it's had years of the uh, Linux Mint team just tweaking that file manager, and it is so good. It's the best file manager on Linux, in my opinion, that is a GUI file manager. USB disk utilities. Don't need any of that stuff. Utilities for time shift. Um, we'll skip that for now. 
utilities for Android, utilities for iOS, for benchmarking, application installers. So we'll do Flatpak and Palmac because we may want some stuff in the, uh, we may want a GUI version of the, the uh, Arch repositories and it just makes it easier for me. App Image Launcher. Yep, we'll take that and uh that's about it of that hardware discovery don't really need any of that stuff um utilities so bleach bit caffeine calculator i don't see anything i really need here stacer that's a handy little uh whatever you want to call it utility manager or like um activity monitor <laughs> Stacer is pretty good for that. Go next. Accessories. So you got your accessories you may want. We'll grab Plank and Plank Themes because we are using the Open Box Window Manager. And uh, if you like Conkeys, if you need Git, which I may need, Password Manager, Privacy, uh, you got virtual box stuff if you do virtualization which i'm not going to be doing on this machine arco linux developer stuff yeah i don't really need any of that and basically we're done now you'll just go through your basic regular linux install as you would for any other but but with this installer you basically just rolled your own linux distro so it's based on arch it's arco linux but you got you were able to choose whatever you wanted to use and that's what makes it handy all right guys and gals so i'll be back this is part one i guess and we'll come back in a in another video and look at all these things we installed and see how well it works now we'll finish out this installation we'll go next i'm gonna do english that's the right keyboard now I am going to replace a partition here. I'm going to be installing right here on this dual boot system that has windows on it. Hit next. And then I fill it out with my name. We'll give it a password. And I'm going to use the same password as an administrator account. Next. It's going to tell me what, uh, what it's going to do. It's going to install arco linux in this red bar here and that's it so i won't bar bore you with the 30 minutes of install but make sure you have a good connection to your machine and that you are connected to the internet and you should be good to go all right guys and gals we'll see you in the next video when we check out that dusk desktop environment all right guys and gals we'll see you next time have a great day y'all